benvenuti benvenuti welcome everybody today we are recording a new video for fratelli di rugby podcast this video is gonna be streamed on youtube welcome everybody here with me mike buonasera buongiorno how are you very good how are you doing you well good good really good uh, exciting and uh, i was already thinking who's gonna be the most picked player by the italians this week right yeah. i'm already into that mindset thinking about the, the player that we want to put into this fantasy league that we are we created yeah yeah i mean four days four days left four days yeah <laughs> we're thinking we are excited about the fantasy but right we are in, into the rugby world cup the real one not yeah. only the fantasy one yeah i mean so, it's, yeah. you know there's going to be there's going to be probably a few few standout Italian names in terms of most popular ones I'm sure we'll probably see some posts from from uh the 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 rugby world cup um twitter or something just sort of explaining but I think yeah like it's got this this tournament's I've never felt a built a, a build up like it I don't know about you it's been um it's electric yeah seems like the like if think about only just fiji georgia the 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 smell of a great upset is there the what kieran crowley said about us who's gonna be the the biggest uh, team that's gonna upset and somebody is gonna be italy so everything goes around the david revelation still can, yeah david can still beat goliath in something like that let's see who's gonna happen there are crazy stories already written seems like our pool but then uh, if you see the other pool too say who, who's gonna who's gonna be the the good one and the bad one and the ugly one into, that's it, that's into it. The um, pool. I th- yeah and, and you know we can we can sort of explain a lot by you know the drawer and there's been a lot of discussion about you know when these these you know pools should be drawn um but i think this is pro- it's got to be the the most competitive World Cup yet. Obviously, you know, looking forward to seeing how everyone fares in, in a few short days' time, but exciting times. And we're going with uh, Italy, and then we can jump into the into the the selection of the team of Fratelli di Rugby, the one that we're going to play with. Then we're going to have a personal one, but then this is going to be the podcast where... Uh, so we're gonna go through, but let me just say something. So good luck to our fratelli of the rugby. You know, uh, all the people that's been uh, interview players, staff from the Nash- Italy national team. We had uh, Seb Negri, Tommy Allen, Dave Sisi, Stephen Varney, Tolafi, Marco Riccioni, Dino Lamb, um, Marius Gusen, and of course Kieran Crowley. So good luck to them. Buona fortuna for a big, big. Uh, Oh, upset. Who knows? But it's important. I want to remember everybody that you can find all the episodes in every platform. So every Spotify, Apple, whatever, what else, Google. Mike? Google, everywhere. You can uh, Audible. You can listen all the episodes, 12 episodes with a lot of great, great players, coach, people. I can say people. That is good. Yeah, yeah, and I think you know we're very fortunate about whom we've we've spoken to, and yeah, listen, you know these 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 are the guys who, you know, are out there representing Italy, and these guys believe that they can they can cause an upset. So I think it's going to be really interesting to see sort of how um, how it all plays out. But um, yeah, super excited, and you know, I think for the first time in a long time, there's a really optimistic, positive buzz on italy which is something which is you know such a nice feeling as a fan because we normally get the other end of the stick so um yeah looking forward to it yeah and and it's also something that other uh, national supporters like uh, some sometimes you can hear some english supporters speaking well about italy new zealander supporter speaking the same way so it's exciting now to have this like respect from the other team they don't see only Italy like the the one with the with the wooden spoon actually seems much more than that which yeah. is great yeah and, um, we need to concretize on this now it's it's yeah. the belief is there so we need to concretize so, so. we have 
Mike, uh, just last, last, last thing. I want to remember everybody that we are also on Instagram. We have fratelli underscore D underscore rugby because uh, we had a lot of answer because we put a story about who's going to be your first pick. And I can just read some new ones, the one I didn't post yet. Uh, yeah. Capuzzo, Ange, Allen, Capuzzo, Pischetti. They want Pischetti, but then we also had Ange Capuzzo, Mitch, the captain, Mitch Lamaro, Peb Negri, Monte Ioane, a semi truck called Rondrandra, Pischio, Ange, Ivan Nemer, Ange again, Silan Doris, Theo McFarland, Peb Negri again, Dave Sisi. So a lot of Italians. In this team, why? Why my a lot of Italians in this team? Well, I think I think there's two elements, right? We're playing nice rugby and we're scoring nice tries and we're scoring a lot of tries. And the other element is that based on the the fantasy league as we're about to look at it, our players are pretty cheap. Um, so that you know, we can get high scoring players for pretty cheap, and then obviously you can start dumping a load of your points allocation into you know the star players. So I think there's element of that, um, but yeah, I'm like I said, you know, I'm 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 excited about this particular fantasy league. So for those of you guys who don't know, we do have a um, a league that we've created, and we'll put the league code in the description for you guys. So um, it's just you know keep an eye out for that. But um, yeah, I, I think this is going to be a, a really fun competitive um, fantasy league. Actually, we are four days and 37 minutes away Oof. from... Uh, we are right there, right? So that, that's great. And uh, yes, we're going to be uh, creating the FDR podcast uh, squad in the in now. So that, let's see who's going to be picked. And all. I think we, we should start from the props, Mike. What do you think? Yeah, let's. Let's. Okay. And... I think what we'll do is just try and explain a little, you know, reasoning why we're going for a particular prop as opposed to another prop. Um, and, and listen, we're not going to get this 100% right. You know, no one could predict the future. Man, um, we, we're going to try to bid on, on some players maybe, right? We are thinking about some scenarios that can, can uh, uh, show some, a good path for our team uh, in uh, the duel one versus one or maybe uh, team versus team because there there are really tight games and then there are a couple yeah. of games that are a little bit more uh, uh, easy to predict let's see yeah 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 i 100% agree with that so i want to re just remember for the first um, um, first round we're going to have france against new zealand italy against namibia ireland romania Australia, Georgia, England, Argentina, Japan, Chile, and then South Africa, Scotland, and Wales, Fiji. So two games seems more much more uh, easy to, to predict. Maybe Italy, Namibia, maybe Ireland, Romania, and uh, then much more tight games, a lot of passion in some of these battles. Think about England, Argentina. South Africa, Scotland is going to be a massive game. France, New Zealand, well, every game is great here, actually. Yeah. It's really with fire. Yeah. And I think, you know, I think we should probably explain a couple of um, the points where, you know, Absolutely. some of the, the, the other, um, you know, posts on this, this fantasy league may or may not have touched upon. But obviously, you get a positive outcome for positive actions but you also get a negative outcome so on negative outcomes so a consideration you guys need to realize is that actually you need to work out which are going to net positive in the long run and then obviously the more that are net positive you know because a player is going to miss a tackle maybe discipline becomes an issue you know and and and, and all of a sudden you might find yourself in minus points right so that's another consideration. Even, you know, there's there's the matchups like what Tavio said, but you also need to think about like like we said, the one on ones and um the overall player performance. So let's yeah. get going. 
there are some some tutorials i just show some of the tutorials you can find just in case you need something different and just remember the, this year there's going to be some boost for the that we can use but sometimes they can be bonus but they can be also malus think about the kicker uh, let's think about one of the worst kickers scenario that we saw last last couple of weeks was japan they scored just one uh, one conversion on eight attempt so think about the the kicker was uh, from japan you are going to get a malus three times more than uh, picking that specific kicker so everything yeah. can change if you miss more tackle and you have the tackle machine is gonna have maybe it's gonna miss five tackles where they're gonna be like 15 tackles no so maybe something's gonna change so we have to be really careful picking the the right player or the right boost and the right captain and kicker so let's start mike let's go prop prop let's start with the prop yeah we have so many different props so many different profiles who are you gonna like if you have to give me three names that you think they can be picked well, I, I think as much as you know i was saying you need to think of the net positive outcome typically the with with, with the uh the props right it, it really depends on the whole pack right so you have to think about uh, who is going to be actually sort of winning scrum penalties as opposed to losing scrum penalties? You have to think okay. about um, how how are, how much they do in the loose as well. So, like, you might find that there's a couple of players who are very high scoring in the loose. Like, uh, three examples might be Genj, Gallo, and Neymar, where they're you know great ball in hand, but then that might suffer in in the scrumming department so like there's another consideration because you know if they run you know 30 meters ball in hand but actually right. they've given away four scrum penalties what's the point so it's a hard one not to, it's a hard one to think but i think matchups become big on this one so i think we need to sort of think at, at those foregone conclusions like you said so let's think about also the value now how much we want to we want to spend for uh, for a prop we saw that the mo more selected player at the moment is full long because of oh. course they probably gonna break apart uh, romania but just with all the respect for romania but we saw the results of the last games romania had and the performance and we we know who's ireland at the moment so we have four longer, but should we bet something a little bit different? Maybe yeah, a couple think... of credits to use more later. Yeah, yeah, that and also, you know, props traditionally aren't big point scorers. And in this particular okay. fantasy, there's no additional points for like front row forwards making meters and stuff That's like in, in some of the other ones. So to be honest with you, I'm, I'm quite happy to go cheap and cheerful as they would say over here um and and yeah just just look at like the best bang for buck so i was going here already i see a couple of good good names like finley bellam it's a good one fisco actually maybe it can be a little bit more loose in this game fischetti but let's see who we have you see how cheap is angus bell which is not bad and how cheap is Gallo and Gigasvili because they are one less than the top player. Yeah, the good ones in the in the mix. Yeah, and I think you know we we've watched Benetton. We know what Gallo can do, ball in hand, for example, right? So there's a benefit there. But then you know, like we said, how is he going to fare um, against England in in the scrum? So yeah, this <laughs> this is a hard one. I'm 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 almost. Uh, willing to pass the baton on to you for the first pick Otto. okay so let me go a little bit down and see some something else for example can be the week of uh, tom O'Toole uh, as a prop mm, no because it's better something different domakowski against the fijian uh, maybe uh, something different Teta Chaparro is not of course uh, it's still here but it's not going to be able man you know what let's go with somebody like 
Jigashvili. Come on, too long player. Let's, Let's put Jigashvili in it. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And you know, there's also another consideration, right? So you want your top scoring or who you think is going to be your top scoring players, right, from a particular team. So if we say, right, Ireland are up against Romania, which is a consideration I'm sure everyone's for, okay, let's overload that. You probably want, you know, Ireland in positions, you know, those three Irish players, because you only can have a maximum of three, in positions <laughs> where you're going to score points. So I think, you know, Georgia, we know they love the, they love a scrum. Um, so, you know, this it's, it's a great, it's a great um, opportunity to maybe get some of those scrum uh, scrum penalty points. So, if we think about the other um, the other prop, maybe we can go with uh, another level like that, or maybe we can put uh, like the Georgia Hooker you're saying. Maybe is that the option for the for the front row? I would hmm. say the hooker needs to be because hookers An now Irish in the modern sugar. game. Yeah, well, the, the hookers now in the modern game especially if you look at the premiership they tend to be up there with the top try scorers of the season that's true and it's tournament rugby so people are going to try and want to go for the low um the high percentage stuff as opposed to the low percentage stuff and the high percentage stuff is five meter scrums uh sorry uh, five five uh five meter malls at line outs and scrumming everything and um so i think the for that reason i would almost say not the Georgia um, hooker, especially after we saw how they fared against Scotland in the second half. That's um, it's, it's, I, I, that, that's that's just my input here. Um, happy for to, for you to to try and convince me otherwise. No, no, no. It, it, it's great. I think Gigas Billy because he's good. Also, we winning turnovers around the field. Sometimes he win great penalties. It's gonna be yeah. a nice situation because Angus Bell is rampaging it's it, it's a great great young prop but i trust him in uh, in this game also if i think george is going to lose the first game against uh, uh australia but that is a little bit the idea but maybe let's see with a prop maybe we can put the, uh, i think i think we've gone conservative start. for the first one right one where yeah. we know they're gonna scrum well they're gonna score points do you want to go for one which is a little bit of a gamble who, you know, like a Genge or like, a, you know, someone who's good in the loose, maybe. Um, I know Gigash Philly, like you said, is very good um, over the ball, but maybe Man, one ball in hand. This guy for the second half, Pone Fama Usili, the huge number. Uh, Let's do number. it. Let's put Fama Usili again. So they're going to... One is going to start, we're crazy because we put already two props. They're going to play one against the other one, but we don't care. These are our decision. Let's, yeah, and, let's and also the right A uh, two, please. Yeah. Also, just a point, we don't have any visibility on any of the team sheets because none have been released, right? So, like, this is... No, maybe something's going to change, changed, of course. Yeah. Um, hooker. Who's gonna score the more try through mall uh, this uh, this weekend? The South Africans, <laughs> the Irish. Who's gonna be the for you, for machine? me? Honestly, yeah. I think we know Sheehan's good ball in hand. We know that he loves uh, you know Space. fifteen yard run. run. <laughs> yeah, he loves it. Um, we know he loves to maul. I think he's gonna be a very good bet against Romania. I don't think they're going to want to show too much Ireland, so they're going to play up the jumper rugby. Um, obviously, you know, who knows? When they play on Saturday, it might be pissing it down as well. So, like, they might be forced to play that way. There's so many different factors, but I think one thing is pretty safe um, to look at is Sheehan probably running in a couple of tries. He's uh, He loves it. So, you know what? Uh, you convinced me. So Sheehan goes in for it's nine credits. Yeah, but hopefully he's gonna play because the the doubt was him and Kelleher if they were able to to recover from injury. But seems like they are on track to right. come back. So let's go on the locks. Who's gonna be the crazy lock? Who's gonna gain meters and meters? We, are we going with a strong, uh, for example, a Thibaut Flamen? Second 
like a second uh, row lock or are we going with two pair one gamble uh, one decision that can be a little bit of a gambling situation what do you think because we have oof Eben cost nine if we do the same that everyone's done we're going to get the same result so i think a little bit of risk is good isn't it um there's some good players there like i i'm a massive fan of will skelton as well um, Man, I want, yeah absolutely let's see guido petty as a lock because he can play also on the on the back row is there of yeah only four only four uh, credits which is good then uh, will skelton maritoje it's about nico lock and none ladies and gentlemen in fifth position people trust this guy in this game shall we go with the other gamble in italy mike do you want to go i i think i think if we're going to go lock i want a, a lock that's going to be um probably on the pitch the whole the whole game and no, that's okay. a consideration and i, I think nico lock like he's he's a great player, but I don't think he'll be on the pitch the whole time. Um, it's interesting. They've got Kramer there as a uh, as a lock as well. Yep. Um, I was looking now. That's that is an interesting one as well. Yeah. Against England. Against mm. England. I don't remember if. Oh, but look at this guy. Only for there he six. is. There Come he on, is. let's pick this guy. Oh, has, ha, yeah, hundred percent. And okay. and not only is he a lock back row hybrid he's fantastic he's in the air. yeah he's great so tell mcfarland ladies and gentlemen come to fratelli di rugby look at this team it's a really really interesting team huh? yeah 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 he'll get a lot of turnover balls we're gambling life. already i can see on that with with fama Ozili, but it's great so yeah. tim mcfarland six credits it's pretty good scott barrett yeah. eight but it's not gonna be around oh oops Oops, sorry, he's going to be around for the first game. So let's see how it goes after the first game for Scott yeah. Barrett. But <laughs> who's so who going to you be recommend? your second choice? Shall we go with a crazy choice? Shall I go with a happy, happy to go, general? happy to go for a crazy point? Also, you know, we know loose forwards are going to get a lot of points this game, right? Just in general. So, ah, nice. Oof. Oh, Albert's classed as a back as a lock. Yep. Yes. That's the point. Yes. Okay. Yes. Do we have to think? Too crazy, crazy. Yeah. 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 McFarland and Albert Tuisui from Gloucester this year. Come on. Yes. Big I'm a Albert. big fan of Albert. Big Albert. I'm a big fan of Albert and Gloucester. So great. Great to yeah. have both. Yeah. Both yeah. On. Sold. 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 <laughs> sold. I know. How much um, we spend now? Pretty, pretty good money. Let's see if we're going to go. <laughs> right with the right credits so lose forwards who so lose lo- forwards yeah i think i think this is where we might we, we we now start looking at the players that are going to score us the most points um minus obviously the 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 try junkies at the back but the ones that are going to make tackles and hopefully not miss them and all of that stuff um i mean I think maybe I think we have to look at an Italian here, right? We should go and look for an Italian. Who's gonna be the 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 player that's gonna gain a lot of meters in our back row? Let's go straight to Italian in this case. I think we both know who it is, don't we? I think the most selected player, or not? Oh, let's see. There are two. Oh, look at there. We have Mister Seb Negri, Mister Michele Mich Lamaro. And then Lorenzo Cannone under that and Toala Fee. The disrespect to put Lamaro at 4.5. <laughs> the absolute disrespect. He's actually world Come class. On. Yes. Um, it's a five there too. Yeah. And, but and... you think it's going to be like, what, what you, you want meters? We, we need a number eight or the number six of Italy. We want breakdown steel penalty oh, for yeah. us. Maybe we should go with the, the the player that probably is gonna start from the from the bench but he's gonna smash everything which is gonna be maybe Zuliani. So who yes. what, what we want there. Yeah like ha- happy to put Zuzu in. Um Toro as well is a really really good shout. Like he's such a busy man. Um yeah yeah, yeah let's let's put let's put Zuliani in. I think he's he deserves Ooh, he deserves Zuliani there. 
Great. Boom. Okay. Zuliani is there. The first Italian for Fratelli di Rugby. Great to start yeah. with this guy. So we have other two positions to fill. Let's think. Who's going to play, you think, for uh, maybe Ireland? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, think I, 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 I think they're going to try and build, like just keep consistency throughout. Um, but I think, it has, yeah, I think we have to have an Irish loose forward in there as well for the exact reasons we gave. Um, so if we go to Ireland, uh, we can fill our spot with another Irish guy. We have Jack Conan, Peter Romanoi, Silan Doris, and Josh Van der Fleer. Who do you think is the guy to pick here for the game against Romania? Let's just remember against Romania. Yeah, so... Obviously, that that it, it's almost irrelevant who you pick for Ireland. They're all fantastic players, and they all That's come, crazy now, right? Yeah, they've all got like their different strengths as well. Um, I will say this, right? Like I said, I think if Ireland aren't wanting to show much, it's it's going to be like a, a game one in the forwards, and I think we're going to see a lot of pick and goes and a lot of multi phase and. Um, yeah, like out of five meter scrum, yeah, whoever's playing eight is probably going to. You know, crash it up quite a lot, and you know. So, I guess the question is similar to to our pick with Zuliani: is who do we think is going to play the first game? That's that's the real question, isn't it? Who needs more game time in this moment in this team? Jack Conan, maybe, and Peter Romano are the two guys. Who's gonna be the most busy guy with possession in the hands? Peter Romano or Jack Conan? I'm going. I'm going there. I'm funneling the situation. Who's gonna be the guy who's gonna yeah. fall into the loose forward position for us, Mike? Between them, Jack, yeah. Conan or Peter Romano? I think Conan. I, I, I'm a massive fan of Peter Romano, and I think he'd score a lot of points at line out steals and. You know who likes legal. Peter Romano? Love him. Love him. Trulla. Love Trulla. Him. Love him so much. <laughs> Because if you don't remember that game this year, the epic battle, Sabre, the epic legendary battle. showdown, yeah, so funny. When um, the time stops, yeah, right. <laughs> Who do you think is going to be there as the third loose forward? And now it's getting hard. Who's going to play with pride and who's going to tickle everything? Shall we go to George again, Mike? Yeah, Shall we yeah, do yeah. A, so a big guy over there. Let's see. Massive so, fun. You think Italian in the squad one, Georgian in the squad already, we're going for the second the second one. Man, I was thinking oh, Bega Gorgadze. Without thinking, Bega Gorgadze is so good. Maybe he's one of the players that can show something and it's only five credits. Let me go see another crazy guy just to see. Levani Botia is six. Uh, I mean, Mata, 6.5. Oh my if, God. If you're asking me between the two, I'm going to say Botia. I think he's absolute world class. I, Man, I know he didn't Zuliani, play. Levani Botia and Jack Conan. Yeah. Ooh, that's, yeah. that's, I'm feeling uh, in danger in the breakdown in this situation. <laughs> this yeah. Little, dogs. As a flanker, well, I think we're good with this for now. Happy, I don't happy, know, yeah. <laughs> I don't know my, how many credits we have, but let's see at the end. We always can figure out something different. Scrum up, shall we go with a classic choice of the world? Who is gonna be only one player, Antoine Dupont, or 11? Or we're gonna go lower? Du what Dupont's think, almost man? guaranteed to start right against New Zealand, yes, of course, of course. But they're also playing New Zealand. Um, That's the point. I think I, I'd be interested to see who starts over Gibson Park or, or Connor Murray. But I think this That's is where true. we could potentially make a lot of points. Um, so, Pajarello. Yeah. Yeah. But again, like he'd be such a fantastic. Shall option. we? Yeah, I think we must. Man, without thinking, Pajarello over so. Varney. Let's go with Pajarello and see what happens. Yeah, and again, it's more, he's probably likely to get picked, isn't he, this weekend? I I saw a couple of games, couple, the last three games of um, 
of Namibia. Yeah, they, they work, they play, but somebody fast around the rack can be really, really big problem for them. Eh? So, great issue. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sold. I'm sold. Let's get him on. Sold. So, we have happy on. to bring the guy because Gonzalo Rada was another guy, but at the moment he's, uh, he's injured. So let's go with Martin Pajero for five. So we're going to go with big guns, maybe. Oh, yeah. big guns for... Right. Yeah, for now, yes. Now it's going to be hard because this probably is going to be also our kicker. Yes. Okay. Hmm. Who's going to kick more this week? And who's going to kick gonna... more accurately this week? <laughs> <laughs> That's true, um... yeah. I think I, I told you my blind uh, idea which one is to to bring uh, in uh, uh, Fernandez from Chile because yeah. against Japan uh, they want to do something maybe that can be the game they can show something but oh it's hard uh, it's hard think, here yeah I think another consideration game. here is who is gonna win the most penalties like which team is gonna put mm. a you know, exactly. the most pressure to be in a position where they're just going to nudge everything over. And I think, I think we both know who we're looking at here, don't we? <laughs> um, there's, there's only a couple of teams that have that much pressure in the forwards that, are, you know, they're going to win point, you know, um, a lot of penalties, penalties in this game. And yeah, he, yeah but the problem is, is he going to kick everything? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Uh, and also, like, because the problem here is we have some players that I'm sure they're gonna kick. Some other players, maybe they're gonna switch kicker in situation. Think about now if there is this issue with Jordi Barrett. Who's gonna be? Is is he gonna be? Uh, Budon Barrett kicking from far ahead. Mm. Of course, Ramos is gonna kick for France. Yeah, that's a good point. But like, who's gonna kick who's for gonna kick. for uh, South Africa this week? I don't... Yeah, good question. I, I assume it'd be like Faf's been kicking a lot, hasn't it? Willem so has been what uh, also like kicking. Um, Is it that's one of the Jake that's Crowley one of the high pressure teams. ten for uh, for Ireland or Burn the first game against Romania. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> Yeah, again, I don't know, like, because there's one consideration is save your best players until when you need them and almost do what Leinster were doing in the URC. But then also we see what happens when you, you know, you front up against a battle-hardened team when Absolutely. they've rested from the quarterfinals to the finals. And, it, it, you know, like that, that team, that team's been through war, they're battle-hardened, they're fit. Like that's that's where the trade off is, right? You either don't risk injury and you go super conservative, or you build into build into like each step of the World Cup. And I think personally, there's two teams that I think are very consistent about winning penalties. One is France, one is South Africa. And if we're not sure who's gonna be kicking for South Africa, I think we go for the safe bet and get Ramos. Um, but Ramos is gonna be on the yeah, he's gonna be back. So maybe we should pick something with a little bit different taste. I think Willemsen the... might be a really good shout here as well because he plays multiple positions as well. Um, unless you have someone else in mind. Uh, at the moment, I'm thinking the Alan is kicking well, but I don't know if he's gonna start this game actually. So. He's not one of the players that I have in mind. I was thinking George Ford, the two, in uh, more more him uh, than the Argentinian ones, because maybe thinking about Buffelli and Carreras, the two kickers for them. But man, yeah, probably Ramos is the is the guy. So we should pick a, a different style of ten that can bring us something different in the in the team, which maybe is gonna be, I don't know, Finn Russell. Something different like that. We, you know what you get with Finn, right? You know that he'll uh, joy e dolori, joy, <laughs> joy and pain, joy and pain, <laughs> joy e dolori, joy um, and pain. Yeah, yeah. Well, but you know what you're gonna get. So he, you know that he's gonna try stuff, and 
I suppose the question is like it's you know if you're gonna if you're going if you're going to gamble at any point you're gonna gamble right at the start of the big against South Africa the first game like if again if you do the same thing all the time you know you're gonna get the same results and you know I I, I just I back Finn to do something batshit crazy he's just he's just one of those players <laughs> um Gordon's actually so, a really good shout as well like for a young running fly half. Um, so the, the first week we don't have Samoa, for example, because if not, I was happy to play uh, Sopoanga. Tonga, for example. Sorry, sorry, uh, not the, the, with the Samoa. Oh, because, okay. Yeah, because if Samoa was playing, I was happy to play with Sopoanga the first game. But in this case, we have the kickers from France, New Zealand, Italy, Namibia, Australia, Georgia, Japan, no, please, uh, Chile, Wales, Fiji. Caleb Mans, so a crazy situation. Man, come on, let's pick it out. <laughs> we, uh, we said, let's go with Carter Gordon for break of the line two, all that kind of style, because now we're not seeing the kickers. Let's go with Carter Gordon's. Okay. And uh, we said that, that our back behind here is going to be Thomas Ramos, okay? Yep. Uh, it's it's the same. It's gonna be in the outside the back yeah, anyway, yeah. so it's gonna be here, but it's not here. Also, but I don't like in this position. Probably I'm gonna move it as a, a fullback anyway. Yeah. But we have Thomas Ramos, great, amazing. Here we go, and we're gonna see the guy selected 53.3 percent, 15.3 percent. So that's that's great for him, and we have. The guy. Then uh, centers. Uh, shall we go with the centers, Mike? Let's do it. Here we go. No surprise. Centers. You see how good they are, these centers here. We have Radrada, Ioane, Fiku, Aki, Ringros, Esteruiz, and uh, first game, uh, tough game against Tupuloto, you Jones. That's going to be fun. Yeah. And remember, we have. 13, let's say 29.5 for four position. Let's see what's going to happen. Esther Hazen and Hugh Jones know each other very, very well, um, playing together as a center partnership. And then obviously Hugh went to fullback, um, but then they'll, they'll know each other very well, won't they? That's true. They know them. They play really well in the Queens here. That year they were fired with the. I remember a couple of games with you, Johnson. Even he played fullback, I think. He did, yeah. It was yeah, crazy. It was after, crazy. After um, Tyrone. Um, Tyrone injured. Green injured. Yeah. 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 Quality Ooh. player. And quality, here, quality where player. you go, you go. You pick good players. Uh, yeah. With, with, let's think about like a seven, uh, six uh, value credits is already good because we have Naya Kalevu. For seven, you have only Lawrence and Marchant for seven. Jesse Creel is gonna play, I don't know, but then eight Kerevi, eight Tuisova. Here mm. you can go with 15, you can get Tuisova and uh, uh, Nayakalevu, just to say a couple of good pair of, of centers. Dante is obviously injured, yep, but it seems like a little bit better now. Then they have Lina Brown, uh, Lucio Sinti. I like Jesse Creel as well. I think he's a quality Jesse player. Creel. Um, but the, but the point is, is he going to play? Because we saw something different uh, recent, in the recent time with uh, when they put Moody at 13. And now they play mm. with these crazy three wingers in the field plus a crazy utility back. Like, uh, um, That's a good point, isn't it? Uh, like with Willems uh, and just one uh, <laughs> with the ninth uh, forward in, uh, which was Esteroizan. Yeah, I'm. I'm happy to leave this one to you. I think. Oh, like that. Okay. I'm happy. Happy for you guys. Uh, uh, look, so look how cheap is Malakai Fikitoa just for the next. Yeah, the next okay, round. so. So the first we don't gonna have neither Portugal, which uh, they have Rodrigo Marta in the centers. So I'm think I'm thinking I'm going with uh, with crazy crazy Lucio Sinti. No, no, no. Let's go with Naya Kalevu, man. Naya Kalevu, one 
and I don't want to spend so much money on this. Or maybe we can change something later, but for now, I think somebody like, oh, Tuizova will reach it because we already have two players with Nayakalevo. Who you prefer, Mike? Tuizova or Nayakalevo? Personally, Tuizova. I think he's. Let's just... do it. So. Oh, co- Let's... Country, uh, country limit reached. Yes, that's why yeah, we're going to put Tuisova instead. Perfect. So we, let's go with a 7 1. Uh, yeah. who let's go with Lucio. I don't know why I feel Lucio Sint is gonna be the man. I don't know why I feel like that. Sherry Gads, uh, nope. Choco Bares can be a good shot defensively, so strong that player. What do you think? Oh, David Avili for six. Is he gonna play Stuart Mikowski, Mike? What's that, sorry? Is he gonna play Stuart Mikowski for uh, for Ireland? I think I think there's been a few questions about like mm. the centre partnerships and that that's the one thing you know Ireland is such a settled team, um, but I think there's definitely like some questions about who they who they want to play, what combination they want to play in the centres for for what games, and I, I don't think that aren't, that that has been answered yet. I think actually if you look at the the Samoa game just gone, there was a lot of questions in the centres there, so. Um, yeah. It's going to be a different uh, playing with Samoa is harder than playing with Romania at the moment. So, you think, shall we put uh, an Irish center like McCoskey in, in the mix? Or do we think the Irish wingers are going to be scoring tries because it's against Romania? So, that's the other consideration, mm-hmm. isn't it? Right. You're right. Whoa. Who's going to be the man? Who's going to be the man? Man, let's put. Let's put a good one in the middle. Let's go. I, 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 I'm, I'm. A, if it, if if it's any consideration, I'm happy with Sinti. I'm, I'm happy with Tompkins as well. I think he's a great defensive centre. Uh, Let's go with Sinti. Let's do it outside back. Okay. Okay. So, are we gonna put Jimmy O'Brien? Who's gonna be there? Because I think uh, we should put somebody like Capuoso maybe here. No. Oh, for sure, for sure. Capozzo, Ioani, one of those two, 100% need to be in this team. Okay, Um, let's see how much it costs our little genius. I don't think it's going to be... Oh, my God. Look how cheap is the guy. Yeah, he's got to be the most selected. So, that's the point. We have 9.5 to spend on our outside back. How much do you reckon low is going to be? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Nine. Yeah. So we can get Kolbe, Van der Merve, Lowe, Stewart, Leroux, Jamine, Villiers, Will Jordan, McCansen. Oof, we have a lot of good players. Keenan eight as well, jeez. Yep. I, the problem is, again, whom is going to play? Um, Man, sh- shall we gamble Ken and Moody? Ha! Let's see the most selected players. It's a big gamble that player on, but maybe it can be. It's gonna be crazy. Oof. We have space actually for the for the Irishman, so probably we should go with Ireland. I, I, I'm happy to go. Um, I'm happy to go as a like risk because then, obviously, I think what we'll do at the end is just maybe. Um, maybe tell everyone how many of the players that we have in this team are actually in our team. Um, All right. Just like, so we can... So who uh, you want? Tell me the name here. I'm going to leave this hot potato. You're leaving this one to me? Yeah, come on. I think the highest, I think, I think the, the safer bet is going for a, um, a player playing against, um, yeah, Romania. I think, I think James Lowe is probably my, my one here. And let's go with James Law, ladies and gentlemen. We are there. So, Becca, oh, who's going to be the captain in this team? Uh, Sheehan, yeah. probably. Oh, Sheehan? <laughs> I think so. Just okay. up, up the... Uh... Man, let's make Sheehan, uh, and we're going to maybe change something this week after we see yeah. the um, the squads. But yeah, for we'll, now, get, we'll get something else out if need to. It's not for me, it's Caboazzo, the other idea. If yeah, want yeah. Something. He, he'll run in. He'll run in tries. Right. Yeah. So, Otto, the question: 
how many of the players that are we've selected today are in your team? Oh, so let me let me look out how many players. So my team, my team has one player. I have Giga Gigasvili is the same. I have Botia, and I have uh, Naya Kale. No, Tuizova and Capuzzo. And then they're completely different, which is good. Yeah, but I'm I, thinking also if I want to change something for now, but for yeah. now I'm good with this team. Yeah, yeah, I I have five of the ones that we selected. Um, oh, that's great! That's yeah. great. Okay, right. team is saved, of course. And then uh, we already are in some of the leagues, but I'm gonna show everybody this one which is gonna be the our league fratelli di rugby podcast league the code is here we're gonna copy the link copy everything and send it to you guys we're gonna post it on twitter too of course we didn't do it yet so we're gonna do that and we have to put, pick different stuff like boosters but maybe we're gonna uh wait a second to to oh you will think we we should play the I booster think- yeah, I, I I think I think we wait for the booster. Um, we wait. Yeah, Tyler until we see Romania. the yeah until we see the t- the teams um, announced and yeah, I think I think the booster. No, maybe that's for the next uh, for the next video. Yeah, you got yeah, this. of course. So Gigas Billy, Sheehan, Famausili, McFarland, Tuizua, Zuliani, Conan, Botia, Pajrelo, Gordon, Tuizova, Sinti, Capuozzo, James Law. Thomas Ramos. So that's the team. That's a good team. It's a very good team. It's going to yeah. be the best team, but this is, is a team that I want to coach one day. <laughs> hey, th- th- we went for risks, right? Like, we could play yeah, it safe. A and... lot of risks. Yeah. But it's going to be great. Yeah, that's the one. So, that's that's all, uh, guys. L- thank you for the people who's going to listen to us. I just want to remember to listen to Fratelli Rugby Podcast, last episode with Ian McKinley, and then we have loads of Fratelli on the podcast. All these guys have been interviewing the last couple of, uh, let's say, four months, including also our summer vacation, Mike. Crazy to think. Yeah, Yeah, crazy to think, like, really, you know, because a few of us were out. It's been... It's been like three months and we've achieved this already and we've spoken to these fantastic players and coaches and uh yeah you know we're getting some some really great feedback so just thank you to everyone who uh takes the time to listen and hopefully um hopefully you're enjoying as much enjoying it as much as you know we are create enjoying creating it for you guys so um yeah appreciate you, appreciate everyone who uh who reaches out and um yeah good luck on the fantasy league Good luck. Just sign on the Fantasy League. You can find us all in um, on Instagram too. Rugby Gocciotto, Fratelli di Rugby. You can find everywhere. There is a lot more to come. So just keep keep your eyes peeled for new episodes of uh, the podcast, video podcast, audio podcast, everything for you, and live streaming too. So uh, see you next. Mike, grazie ancora. Ci vediamo. Ciao, ciao, grazie.